Good morning, everyone. Hello, uh, I'm Christine Kidder, your career coach, helping you find work that works for you. I'm a career coach and job search coach. I like to say that specifically because not everyone is in job search mode. However, I think everybody wants a happier work life, wants work that works for you. All right, and this is our Monday morning planning session. I'm really excited that I'm streaming to three platforms at the same time. I've never done this before. It's uh, something new and different for me. So, and thank you so much for being here. So if you are watching this right now, please put in the comments where you're watching it from. I wanna know, give me your comments. Let me know that you're here because the way this works is I don't know if you're here unless you make a comment or you can give me a reaction, give me your likes, your hearts, whatever you feel like this morning. And we're gonna get started in the next 30 seconds. I'm going to share my screen with you, one of my screens that I have here. And this is the template. So what I'm sharing with you is the template that we follow in this weekly planning session. And uh, here it is right now. So this is a work session. And the whole purpose of this is to get you a plan to follow for the week because you can't reach the results that you want without a plan. You just can't. I We didn't do this planning session last week because I ran the Chicago Marathon on Sunday. But in order to run a marathon, you have to follow a plan. I can't even imagine what it would be like to try to do a marathon or to try to do anything without a plan. Our first step is we're going to take five minutes to create mental white space. Maybe you've already had a crazy morning and it's only 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And we need to be focused on uh, this next hour. We really need to do this. So we're going to take five minutes to focus and clear our minds. And what we do is we're getting everything off your mind. Do a brain dump. You can either get it into a, a separate Word document, or if you just don't want to be digital, too digital this morning, you can get a simple white piece of paper and just write it down. But we're going to take five minutes to do that starting now. Five minutes. And I'm going to put some background music on as well. And I know my background is a little noisy.
Less than two minutes. I am oops, sorry for the background noise. <laughs> like many of you, I'm working from home and I have a dog and he can be loud sometimes, surprisingly. Well, not surprisingly. <laughs> All right. Well, we're just going to keep on moving ahead and I'm sharing the screen again for our next Next, our next step, and this is to conquer our inbox. Doesn't that feel good just thinking that and saying that to yourself? I'm going to conquer my inbox by jumping into your inbox. You can't avoid it if <laughs> so many of us want to. You need to uh, address it. So we're going to jump into it, and you can do a variety of things for the next five minutes. You can just um, delete some emails. You can unsubscribe to some emails, which you really may need to do. Or you could take this five minutes to reply to an email that you've been procrastinating. Yeah, maybe you really putting it off and you just like just five minutes to jump into your inbox and clean it up for five minutes.
Less than two minutes. Clean up that inbox. Oops, I had myself muted, obviously. Time to move on to the next step. Time just keeps on moving along. I'm going to turn off our ticker and bring you back to the template that we follow so I can show you what the next step is. And then also I did put in the comments on at least on LinkedIn um, what the link is you want to make sure that you're getting um, my materials and that you're on my list because I send out uh, resources every week. And again, it's not just job search resources, but just to help you to have a happier work life, uh, career resources, how to be more productive, simple things that you can do. And we often need prompts on what those things are. You might be like, oh yeah, I've done that before. And then it's just not top of mind anymore, which is normal. We all have a lot going on. Okay, our next step 
and want to make sure that yeah, you should um, coming back on the screen so you can see me too. Okay, so the next thing is, and this is a part of the planning session. Sometimes people get stuck on this. It's setting your weekly goals for the week. A big mistake that we all do is we uh, pick too many goals for the week. You shouldn't pick too many because the more you pick, then you're decreasing your chances of success and you're not focused. You have to be focused on those goals that you pick for the week. The sweet spot in the number of goals to have is three to five, no more than three to five. And maybe you just start with three. What are those where do you want to be by the end of this week? What will make you feel really good about this week? Pick those three specific goals. And so you're going to do that in the next five minutes. And you also need to write them down. They shouldn't be in your head because if they're not written down, then it's less, less likely that you're going to really achieve those goals. That's what we're going to do starting now in the next five minutes. Two-minute warning. Thank you. 
Okay, our timer is going off and okay. <laughs> Hold on, I have a lot of stuff going on here. All right. Um, okay, so I need to share my screen with you so you can see what we are doing. I went ahead, I put, so I've put two links in the comments. And uh, so the first one is make sure that you are on my email list. I did mention that already, but you that'll ensure that you get the resources from today's meeting. You definitely want to be on that. As I, I don't send out too many emails because I know we all get too many emails to begin with. However, I send out regular emails, weekly emails at least, to give you new resources. I'm always coming up. I always come across like new resources and I love sharing those resources with you and I'm sharing the planner template again with you. So you have that. Okay. So here it's up on the screen. So we have that. And then I wanted to just point out too. So this template, you get this, this is part of the resources that you, you receive. And then also there is that comes with it. it there's a blank, daily planner too. And you can use this, you can make copies of it and use it however you see fit. But it's nice to have that so you can plot out, okay, these are my weekly goals. Now these are the days I'm going to work on. And you can say, okay, I'm gonna work on this component on this day. You can just really drill down further and use that. All right, and what we're going to do next is really important. So what we just finished was scheduling, well, setting, writing down our goals for the week, right? What those three goals are, no more than five. So if we finish that, often people get stuck. So I put the link for my career clarity call in the comments as well. A lot of people need one-on-one -on -one conversations because they know where, you know where you wanna go in your career, you just don't know how to get there. What do you need to do? You know where you're at, you know where you wanna go, you don't know what to do to get there and that's what we do in 30 minutes it's a powerful session and i encourage you if we haven't talked already let's do it let's let's have a conversation and focus on that and or we can just have a virtual coffee too okay anyway um this next thing i'm going to share this on the screen too it's scheduling conversations with at least three conversations with people. You can't get the results you want without help from other people or without collaborating with other people without that. That is essential. You need to do that and use your calendar as, a, as the helpful tool that it is to time block and put down those conversations. When are those going to occur? When do you want them to occur? When are you going to reach out to those people? I will set the timer and then I'm going to share another worksheet that you'll get when you get on my list. I'm going to share that on the screen after this, just so you can take a look at it and I'll point it out to you. But starting now, let's take five minutes to schedule those three key conversations that we need to have this week in order to be successful. I'll go ahead and put our work music. I hope you like the work music if you or the background music. If you don't, 
or if you do, I'd love to hear from you. So give me a comment on that too. That would be great. I like it. It's, it really, it's good. I need to have background music myself. Timer is telling us we need to move on to our next step. 
And I'm going to go ahead and share this screen with you. This is my tip sheet. How do you feel when you hear the word networking? A lot of people hate it. A lot of people just really dread it. It's kind of like public speaking. Many people don't like to do that either. However, to, to make the progress you need to make in your career, you need to connect with other people. Make it fun. Make a game out of it. There's no reason for it to be a drudgery. And um, you want to make it, you really want to, you need to make it fun. You need to make a game out of it. And that's what my tip sheet is here. So you should be able to see that. And uh, here, I'm going to go back on the screen. This is part of the materials that you get when you get on my email list, as well as like if you just to make sure that you register for this as well. But to, the best thing to do is again get on the email list, and um, and then yeah, so it makes a game out of it. You're giving yourself points, and uh, it makes it fun. And then you start to build that habit of networking just a little bit, even every day. That's the best thing. It doesn't take a lot. I've been doing it for years myself, and I really love connecting with people. I think it, the better description of it is connecting with people, not uh, networking. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the share here. And now I'm gonna bring us back to the planner because we need to hop back to that. And I've got some background noise here. I apologize for that. And uh, but we're going to just keep on being focused on our planning session here. Okay, so now we're going to have a little bit more time, about ten minutes. So you get a whopping ten minutes. And during this time, what you're going to focus on is your project documents. Your like, what are you working on right now? What's that tough project that you're working on in your career? Or if you're doing a job search, you definitely focus on that. And if you're doing a job search, or even if you're not with your career, when was the last time you looked at your resume? When was the last time you looked at your LinkedIn profile? You should look at that first, really, because people can access that so quickly. If you meet anyone new, most likely, this is what I do. I meet someone new, I go to their LinkedIn profile right away. It makes an impression. Take 10 minutes to look at your LinkedIn profile and see what improvements can you make. Maybe there's some things you want to revise or get out of there. We'll set the timer now for 10 minutes for you to either work on your LinkedIn profile, that's what I recommend, or you can work on updating your resume. Or if you'd rather work, you know, do some work on a project, you can take the 10 minutes to do that starting now. And I'll share my screen with you in a couple seconds here. Thank you. 
calling introducing lucia the easiest most accurate way to prospect simply sign up for free and congrats now you can reach more than 50 million direct dials how easy find your target on linkedin and click on show contact to get the prospect's number and email you can even bulk enrich multiple prospects in one click and save them directly to your crm lucia start for free
would you say if two e-commerce millionaires said that they wanted to build an automated Amazon store on your behalf without you lifting a finger? You'd probably be skeptical, right? Well, I'm actually going to log in and refresh my screen right here for you guys so you can see it all reloading. This is not some type of screenshot or anything weird. You can see that just in the last 30 days, our Amazon Ugh, commercials are annoying. Sorry about Less than two minutes. going off in the background I'll silence that we have two more steps left in our planning session and then we'll have a little bit of time for questions feel free to drop any questions that you might have regarding your career or your job search in the comments and uh, and I will take a look for them okay I need to bring us back to the template so you can see it again and uh, these are our next steps are very important as well. And uh, I've gotten feedback on these from participants that uh, they really appreciate doing these things as well. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take five minutes for sh to shout out, to recognize someone, to thank them for their help. And it can be, like your mentor, maybe you don't take enough time to thank your mentor. If you have a mentor, if you're fortunate enough to have a mentor, or maybe someone provided a reference to you or someone will be a reference for you. Uh, but whoever has helped us with our career or our job search, we need to take five minutes to recognize those people. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm sharing the screen right now with you to do that and uh, I'll set the timer starting.
less than two Almost done. We have another important step, though, to wrap everything up. And what that is, is we're going to take five minutes to write a handwritten note. How often do you really receive those? Probably not very often. And when you do receive them, you remember it. I'm sure you can remember it now when you've received a handwritten thank you note, especially when it comes to your work, your career. And uh, that's why we need to do it right now. I will set the timer so you can take five minutes to pick someone and write them a quick handwritten thank you note that you will mail today, starting now. Who do you need to thank? Who do you need to send that handwritten thank you note to? Three minutes.
two minute We have two minutes left. I didn't see any comments or questions in the comments. However, it, you can still pop one in. There's a minute left if you do have any questions. I wanted to thank you. I did put a link in for my feedback form. Feedback helps me to be make this session better every day, every week. I appreciate any feedback. It only takes a minute to provide some. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you watching and taking the time. I hope this really helped. And that's why the feedback form is important. If you can take a minute to give me your feedback, again, it helps me to be better today than yesterday. And I look forward to hearing about how your week was. I'll be here next Monday. And I also put in, I'm having two events. Does your LinkedIn profile get across your value, how you're invaluable? I'm doing a, a free 30 minute um, session on LinkedIn Live on October 27th. So that's in a couple of weeks at noon Central Standard Time and also the 28th, but that's a private session for a minimal cost of $17. That's the registration fee. I would love to see you there. That would be great. And uh, again, it's gonna be focused on helping you to have a better LinkedIn profile because it needs to communicate your value. It needs to, that's the whole objective of having a LinkedIn profile. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for being here.